In this video, I'm going to be checking out the voice of Bachi Prot, and this is their song, What's the Holy in brackets noble today? If you want me to check out more voice of Bachi Prot, you should smash like and subscribe and become. The drama in the background is just Oh boy Shredding Oh, oh, guitar solo. Guitar solo. She's so good on guitar, go on. Look at the way the bass player is standing. Look at the way the bass player is standing. Bass again.
Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> so many things, so many things, so many things to say, so many things to say. Number one, uh, this is a live version of this song. It is not a studio version of this song. Because number one, uh, her vocals, they her vocals are mixed with instruments, it's very unbalanced. Very unbalanced. The instruments sound amazing. Then her voice is like up and down, up and down. I think this is an issue of mixing, not really the band's performance. I think it's how the how, how it was mixed by the guys who made the video. The video itself is very clean. Uh, the setup is very clean, but the, the audio has been mixed is very imbalanced. The instruments are very good. Yeah, the song itself has a very strong groove. It has more of a hard rock. I know they are they are a metal band, but this one is more alternative metal, hard rock instead of like heavy metal. Yeah. Uh, I don't know their names. I don't know their names. I, I should check them out in interview. But the girl, yeah, this song has made me realize that the lead singer has made me realize that she has different timbers. You know what I mean by timber? T-I-M-B-R-E, timbers to her voice. At times she can go high and... And then at times like... Her voice is much more squeakier and higher. Yeah. Then at times she can like growl. So it's like her voice has like three different... Maybe even more if I listen carefully to her voice depending on what part of the song she sings. The instruments in this one are very solid, but the way they mixed the sound of her voice with the instruments was very uh, uneven, in my opinion. Uh, but I think it's because it's a live version. If it was a studio version, it would have been much more cleaner. Therefore, uh, I didn't get the lyrics. Yeah. Therefore, I didn't get the lyrics. I also did not have subtitles. Yeah. Maybe if I check them out later, I can be able to get what the song is about. But if you know what the song is about, you can be able to comment below. Otherwise, the groove of the song is very good. Instrumentally, it's very good. The drumming is also very on point because I was watching the drama in the background all the time playing. And also the bass player. This one didn't have like a crazy bass solo, but the lead singer, I think she played a solo like in the, in the, in the opening section, she shredded. And then later on in the song, she does like a guitar solo, which I found to be very, very solid. She's a very solid guitar player, and I always think that it's very impressive how she just sings and uh, how, she, how she sings and how she plays guitar. It's just she's an amazing lead singer for that. All I feel is that in this video, uh, the mixing of instruments and sound was done very unevenly. It, it sometimes the instruments would drown out her voice. Yeah, so I hope there will be a studio version of this. But otherwise, I've enjoyed this. And if you can tell me the meaning of this song, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I've checked out others other songs from Voice of Butter brought covers. I leave them right here. I intend to check out their cover for uh, for Master of Puppets. I'm told they did a cover for Master of Puppets. I'll check that out later, so make sure to subscribe if you're a huge fan of voice and budget for the next year.